Do you, do you see this guy? He's knocking over pillows. Hey, you guys. <laughs> yes, I have to do it every time because it's literally me. Hello, I am Buddy. Sometimes I buy stuff, sometimes I say stuff, and sometimes I do stuff. Pay no attention to the curtain that is around my face. It is raining today and my body cannot handle it in any way, shape, or form. Also, if you happen to notice my eye makeup, I received my Lethal Cosmetics Night Flower collection today. Hopefully we'll have a video on that soon. Anyway, getting to today's video, we are doing another little Killstar try on. Yes, I spent some more money with them. Big surprise. They did get me with another email that said they were having a 30% off skull sale. So anything that had anything to do with skulls was 30% off, not including this awesome sweater I'm wearing that Hubs got me for Christmas, which is also Killstar. Let me scooch over. I'm gonna set the website photo here and then the little video of me actually wearing this stuff. This time was a lot better than last time. I only buy a couple items at a time because you know, I don't wanna be spending like thousand dollars each Killstar haul. I can handle like 100, 150, maybe even $200 like five times a year. Can't just do like 2000 all at once because the stuff goes on clearance at all different times. So I just have to buy when I want. I am probably going to end up in a cardboard box because I can't pay my mortgage. But man, I am going to be the most fresh goth homeless person in the world. Thank you, Killstar. Okay, so the first item that I picked up, I have had this on my wish list for a long time. Finally went into the clearance section, so I had to pick it up. It is called the Dead Rose Tunic Top. It is technically a t-shirt that has a graphic print on the front, but it's also like a high-low cut. In the front, it's higher, but in the back, it's lower, but also has a slit. So it is super cute. So here she is. She is a super soft, it's that traditional, amazing soft fabric that Killstar has um, for their soft fit shirts. Graphic is super cute. It's kind of weathered. It's soft on the fabric. It's not like a hard screen print. I was just checking this to see what size I bought and I just noticed that, oh, I'm gonna have to sew it. Speaking of having to sew, I do want to modify this uh, top anyway. I love it. I love the graphic. I love the feel of it. I love the way it fits, the way it's cut. The problem that I have with it is it is a cap sleeve. I, since my weight loss, I carry a lot of like loose skin and fat in my arms and the cap sleeves cut just right into that one spot that makes me so self-conscious. It's so unfortunate because I love this top so much, but what I am gonna do and make it into a tank shirt. I love this so much. I love the graphic on the back. Stop watering dead plants. There's beauty in dying. I understand the message. I really love this shirt. So that was definitely a win for me this time. So yeah. The next item, the shadow shift hoodie was not part of the skull sale, but it was on clearance and I took a chance on it because I did think that like $20 or around $20 and I thought, hey, you know, a little cropped hoodie for 20 bucks can't go wrong i got it in a size medium it is a cropped zip up hoodie it has a velour texture on the top with like kind of a stretchy cotton on the bottom it translates over to the sleeves as well where there's a long um cotton cuff it's got two d-rings on the front and the branded zipper pull the only thing about this one that's like a little weird is the d-rings kind of hit you in the boob part. So depending on your size, these may end up looking like metal nipples. So no, I'm not mad at that either. <laughs> one was really, really cute. I really, really do like it. I like the way it fits. It's really comfortable. Another win. 
yay for that too. While we are on wins, let me tell you about this next. This is my favorite out of everything that I bought. I think it's the second most expensive thing that I bought, but it's the most expensive clothes-wise that I bought, but it is so worth it. This is the Demonic Forces bodysuit. Let me tell you, man, this thing is gorgeous. It's a staple piece. Like, I, I cannot say enough good things about it. It is beautiful. It's sheer, but when you put it on, it's semi-opaque you can see in the video i'm not wearing a bra but it still like covers it's kind of like a stretchy mesh and soft velvet it has a snap crotch so if you need to wear it and use the restroom it's easy if i got this in a large just because i wanted to make sure that there was enough room between the crotch and the chest but man this thing i love this thing you can wear it with jeans you could put um, tights underneath and, you know, festival it up. It is so gorgeous. You can put a blazer over it and wear it as an undershirt. What a deal for whatever I pay for it. <laughs> I don't care how much I pay for it. I love this thing. Now, let me make a note real quick, though, because there is a tag on it that says warning this thing is died the fuck out they are not lying i actually when i was filming those try on videos and i was like touching it i ended up having to take off my nail strips because they were stained from the black ink in this um so i'm gonna have to wash it first but lord i love this one i hope you understand like how amazing this is so this is a definite if you're looking for something on there, pick this up. This is so cute. I love this one. Kind of shifting out of clothes right now and I got two accessories. First being a piece of jewelry. I honestly have almost always had left with Killstar's jewelry. I have a couple of necklaces that are like staple items for me. I wear them all the time. Uh, my husband has gotten me rings for holidays. Their jewelry is actually pretty high quality and detailed very nicely. It's really important um, when you're searching for this type of style. The necklace is called the Tania Morte necklace. Basically, it's a deadhead moth. This is really a beautiful piece. Large metal piece that is highly detailed, highly detailed. It's got black crystals in it. It's carved just so delicately and beautifully. The only issue I have with this is I wanted it to kind of sit higher on the neck. Um, in the video, I have it on the tightest ring and it still, I feel like sits too low. So again, kind of like the rose shirt, I'm gonna have to modify this and get my jewelry mod kit out and I'll probably take out a couple links of this to make it fit more closer to the next, just so that it can stand out and be the statement piece that it really is. This is gorgeous. I think I got this $16 on the skull clearance, so totally worth that buy for sure. And then the final item, the one that I was super excited about, but it's the one that I'm probably the most iffy about. This is the Moonrise Backpack Purse. Let me just preface, I love backpack purses, but I am very particular about my bags. I'm particular about the size. I'm particular about the functioning pockets, and I'm particular about the straps. And this one, although hits some of those marks, kind of falls short on some of those marks. All right, here she is. She is a gorgeous piece. Do not get me wrong. She is vegan leather. She's studded. She's got the Killstar logo on the front. She's got this beautiful, heavy moon charm. She's got the side pockets, which are very important to me because when I'm wearing a backpack bag, I like to put my keys and my phone in the side pocket so that I can just reach around and easily grab them. The issue that I have with her is, I couldn't tell this on the website, I just don't know if I, I didn't look close enough. Zipper opening only goes to that far. And so the opening is very, in my opinion, 
shallow. It's not, it doesn't go any further than this. And I carry a very large Killstar wallet and it's cumbersome to try and get out. That was like my first, like, oh, that kind of, you know, is disappointing. But then the other thing that I'm not too wild about is the straps connect to one D-ring on the back. Normally, I'm sure that that's not a big deal to people, but for some reason, it makes the way that it sits on my back just a little clunkier than I would like. I really wish that they were independent right here on the back so that it kind of sat against my body a little bit better. That was kind of the other disappointing part. I think she is so pretty that I'm going to keep her on my bag shelf for a little bit just to admire her because she does have like a look that I just, that I love. <laughs> and I'm sure I can probably find some purpose to use her, whether it's traveling or maybe just like a short weekend trip or something, because she is a nice size. Like she really is. She's, she can hold a lot of stuff, but you know, day to day, it's just, it's, it's not for me, dog but I do love her. She's very, very pretty. So I don't want to call her a total loss because really she's not. So this is like the one item that I'm not 100% satisfied with um, on this Killstar mini haul, but I'm not calling it a loss. She's gorgeous. She's going to stay with me for a little while, but she may end up on my Macari at some point, but still, I will love you while you are here. And that's about it for this one, guys. I had a great time. I have some wonderful new pieces that I can't wait to wear. Um, I hope you enjoyed this go around. I'm sure I'll be back in the future with some more Girl Star buys because, you know, I just have a problem. Somebody send me the methadone. But anyway, if you sat through this, thank you so much. I also want to say, if you happen to watch and sat through my last video of me putting on dollar makeup while having drinks, I love you. Thank you for silently judging me um, in the privacy of your own home. And if you're still with me, thank you so much. If you have any questions about any of the items, I'm gonna link them all in the description box below. And if you could like this video, that would be super awesome. And leave me a comment if you like any of these things. And if you have any questions, let me know. Again, I am your Killstar go-to girl. All right, guys, thank you so much. I love you so much. I will see you on the next one. Bye.